guys and welcome back to another video. Alright so in today's video we are going to be talking about the qualities or modes within astrology. Yes! So last year I addressed the elements within astrology which are fire, earth, water and air. And with each of these elements it comes a quality or a mode and these qualities for those of you who do not know are cardinal, fixed and mutable. Naturally, before we do get into this video, these videos are the introduction videos, if you will, for my square segment to my Ultimate Zodiac Showdown series. I made the trying segment to this series already, so if you want to check out the trying, so that basically means that the signs are within the same element in a trying. I'm going to put the playlist somewhere, so if you haven't already checked it out, go right ahead. It's the modes basically that represent the three ways in which the four elements energy flows. It's the mode that represents the style of action and reaction that we adopt when we are dealing with other people and situations that we attract. And this is essentially why it would be within our best interest to note which of the three modes or qualities are most dominant within our chart, especially when it comes to your sun, moon and rising. So the fixed signs, they are Taurus, Leo, Scorpio and Aquarius. In the cardinal video, I talked about how the cardinal signs are the movers. They are the shakers, the go-getters, the self-starters of the zodiac. They prefer a faster tempo as they enjoy going at a relatively furious pace. Fixed signs, however, they aren't so fast and furious. In fact, they don't take kindly to pushy aggressive types. <coughs> cardinal signs. <coughs> and um they don't really like feeling pressured in situations either. Even though Scorpio is well equipped to handle such emergency crisis, excellently so. This is because the fixed signs, they prefer to take a more methodical and organized approach to life. All right, maybe a little bit less when it comes to the experimental sign of Aquarius. <laughs> and I know what you're thinking. Capricorn is super organized, Capricorn is super methodical, all the earth signs are Hannah. But a great way to notice the difference between the fixed earth, which is Taurus, and then the cardinal earth, which is Capricorn, is by paying really close attention to the amount of workload for one, and also by paying attention to how easily Taurus just kicks off their shoes, relaxes once the working day is done. Capricorn, however, Capricorn's like, all right, all right, next thing, let's, let's get on to the next thing. So yes, fixed signs. They need to feel as if they can control what happens to them rather than being swept up in a fury of exciting activity. So what they do is they pool all of their energies inwardly to better fortify themselves from within. They securely place and fasten the energy as they want to contain it. Meaning that these signs are most characterized by stability, firmness, and dependability. Try to imagine Cardinal being that direct action with little hesitation or pre-planning. But then what happens is, is fixed energy comes along and it maintains that very energy. It takes that energy and it perseveres with that energy. It persists with it. So whatever the cardinal signs do not finish, the fixed signs come along and they certainly finish it for them. The fixed sign's strength is their consistency and loyalty to any situation that they encounter or project that they participate in. Because they can remain centered in their element they can consolidate their inner forces in ways that enable them to concentrate and focus long and hard on their objectives. Plus, their attention is not easily diverted by distractions. These are the signs, people, who will follow things through to the end as they manage and maintain what was begun by the cardinal signs. And so their interests in life are purposeful and lasting. Naturally, due to these reasons, they do have the tendency of going through denial in times of change. What they might do is they might try to run away from change and resist and withstand it. All you have to do, guys, is watch how firmly a Taurus will 
stamp their feet into the ground if told that they have to move house or change position in work. Watch how dramatic a Leo becomes after being so used to having things their way, only to find out, no Leo, we are not getting a dog. Watch how long a Scorpio will refuse to allow any deep emotions that they have out, causing them to refuse any sort of emotional change. And watch how suddenly an Aquarius will just revolt. Yet, they will refuse, refuse to listen to anybody else's opinion about the circumstances because quite simply, Aquarius wants everything on their own terms. These are the fixed signs who want to take their time and prep themselves before applying any type of change into their lives. Fixed signs that are within the middle of the seasons. So we've got Taurus with being mid-spring, Leo with mid-summer, Scorpio with mid-autumn, and Aquarius with mid-winter. This is the Northern Hemisphere, respectfully, as kindly pointed out by one of you lovely viewers. Thank you. <laughs> and if you think about it, these are the times in which each season is in its prime. It's most powerful, totally and completely fixed in that season. Truly guys, it's the fixed signs that understand that persistence is the key to success. Just try to think of times when you've had to be persistent, right? So being persistent with your education and learning about new things, being persistent in relationships and working through one's differences and finding a common ground, even being persistent when it comes to running a marathon and pushing your limits to get to that finish line and holding on to faith and not giving in to discouragement. Yes, it is the fixed signs who want to get to the finish line by completing the task at hand. They also possess the ability to clearly define what they want, which are also key players when it comes to eventual success. They are just so blessed with this high level of stamina. Now, of course, this can make them rather stubborn as they won't take no for an answer. They may possess this my way or the highway attitude. We have Taurus who can most definitely remain stuck in their creature comforts. Don't dare take that blanket away. Don't dare tell me that I need to be up for a certain time. We have Leo who can demand to go here or go here or go here. I'm sleeping on this side of the bed. That's final. We have Scorpio who, if they ask you to do something, they will not, they will not let it rest until you do it. Hannah, can I have 10 pounds? No, Peter. No, can I have 10 pounds? No, Peter. Why not? Because, Peter. Why? Ugh. That was just a little quick scene between me and my Scorpio brother. <laughs> and of course, we have Aquarius who can believe that, um, they're always right. <laughs> Sorry, what's that? What's that? I, I can't hear you. I can't hear you. La 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 In fact, sometimes the fixed signs win in life only because they were able to wear down the opposition. So if you can imagine, my brother, well two of my brothers are Scorpio, I have a sister who's a Taurus, and then there's me who's an Aquarius. Just imagine that. Imagine that. <laughs> Basically guys, there is certainly no lack of confidence or wasting motions in the fixed signs. And whilst they may not put up a bloody fight when their needs are threatened, they will resist being dictated by others. <laughs> Ultimately, it is through self-reliance, persistence, and strong desire that they get the results they want. So with all of that being said, how is it that the signs, these fixed signs, how is it they persist exactly? Okay, so we have Taurus who is fixed earth. They are all about persisting with practical applications when it comes to the resources, when it comes to the material world. Earth is all about the earthly realm, material world. So their power comes from stability, patience, and sustaining an effort for long periods of time. In fact, it's Taurus who is probably seen as the most fixed. Because, well, no other sign is as entrenched in its attitudes as the sign of the bull. 
Yes, the symbol is the bull. They are steady, secure, and they value stillness and serenity. Now, speaking of value, Taurus is ruled by Venus, a planet associated with what we value as well as attraction. It's a Taurus that is very much grounded in the world of the material form, form which Taurus can attract and utilize valuable resources that sustain its life. It is Taurus that is able to connect with its senses and concern themselves with what they are really talented at as well. They are fully aware of their capabilities and if ever pushed, they will stand their ground rightfully so. Like I said, bull. Meaning guys, that Taurus is very sure about what they like and what they don't like, what they deem as valuable and what they don't deem as valuable. Seriously, they will know how much this shirt costs and where they got it from. And they're gonna keep all of those receipts. <laughs> and if you do buy something for a Taurus and you are a valuable person in their life, let's say it's a necklace that you bought them, they will wear that necklace until the cows come home. Or should I say the bulls come home? Yes. It's fixed earth that applies utmost dependability and they can most definitely be counted on to deliver the goods in a timely fashion. Ultimately guys, it's the Taurus who enjoys the unvarying patterns of routine without getting bored. They want a calm, settled life where they know that their security is not being gambled with. So they're gonna pay close attention to the budget. Leo, on the other hand, a sign who is willing to gamble with its budget because it couldn't really care less about the budget because hey, focusing on the here and now, Leo is a fixed fire sign. So they are all about persisting action and fire is all about action. It's Leo who wants to have fun and they don't overly concern themselves with how much the pleasures in life will cost, just that they experience pleasure. Come to think about it, it's kind of odd to think of how fire can be fixed, seeing as flames, they just naturally love to spontaneously dance all over the place. But it's the steady glow of a fireplace where the flames are at least contained. The one that note, Leo's, Leo would love to dance. <laughs> and the thing about fireplaces is that they add warmth to the room that they're in. They add a cozy and romantic feel. It's the sign of Leo who radiates these qualities. It's their warmth that just radiates from their heart as Leo lives the life of the eternal romantic. <laughs> Along with the drama, of course. It's the nature of fixed fire that makes Leo steadily enthusiastic and focused on their creative force with long lasting passion they shine in their creativity being ruled by the sun. And it's the fixed fire which also makes their fiery self-expression less impulsive, but rather more purposefully directed. They are going to harness all of that creative power in order to ensure that they end up the winner. As soon as a Leo gets a creative idea, they will wrestle it to the grind and they will not stop until it is expressed in a way which Leo believes is to be best. Indeed, it is the Leos that feel strongly assured within. As their fire, it doesn't doubt the rightness of their actions. Now, Scorpio, another sign who feels strongly assured within, but in a very different way. Scorpio is fixed water. So they are all about persisting in their ability to remain intensely emotional and intimate, especially when it comes to their relationships. And it's water that is all about emotions. It is Scorpio's role to strengthen both their own and other people's emotions. But when they do so, they want to make it permanent. But it's Scorpio who can be accused of transforming into an iceberg when Scorpio withdraws its emotional heat in its relationships. Yet passions, they run deep for a Scorpio. Meaning that this is a sign almost incapable of reacting to life in a cold way. Even though they might look like they're being really cold, 
It's really that Scorpio's feelings are deeply hurt by the situation. It's Scorpio that tries to control their feelings, which rarely spill out and needlessly leave them exposed. They keep their emotions strongly contained within, making them highly secretive people. But just how contained they are makes all the difference between emotional self-discipline versus unhealthy repression. Scorpios can be really successful if they allow themselves to expose and be exposed, if they use their healing abilities on themselves and to heal others. These power houses, they can certainly commit to a strategy and work in purposeful ways and they possess a strong ability to get others to do the same. <laughs> this is why they can truly dominate when it comes to the likes of sales and management. And it's this fixity of the water which can help stabilize the water. What it does is it cuts down on any types of mood swings and panicky reactions to outside threats. Meaning that Scorpios, Scorpios can appear amazingly composed in the face of danger. I laugh in the face of danger, ha 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 ha. Ultimately, they do a marvelous job when it comes to handling crisis situations. They possess a smoldering intensity that has the ability to transform themselves and the lives of others due to Pluto's rulership. Aquarius, on the other hand, a sign that is far from smoldering intensity, but rather cool emotional distance. Aquarius is fixed air meaning that they are all about persisting communication and human interactions. And air is all about communication and human interaction. Aquarius comes along and wants to stabilize the interplay between people within the community and amongst friends. And it is the Aquarius that is seen as the oddball out of all the fixed signs. Because while well, Taurus, Leo and Scorpio can be very attached to their pleasures, resulting in them being too inflexible to change their opinions or ways overnight, an Aquarius would just suddenly come up to you out of the blue and say something like, so I'm kind of thinking about moving to Vietnam to teach English for a year. Other signs are like, what? But the catch is that the moment other signs try to tell the Aquarius, no, no Aquarius, don't do that Aquarius. I don't think you should do that Aquarius. What does Aquarius do? They do it. <laughs> now whilst air likes to spread things far and wide, fixed energy likes to stay put. But I personally like to think of fixed air as air within a hot air balloon or an airplane because it's the air that is being contained within that hot air balloon or airplane. But if a hole is pierced into a hot air balloon, tsh, crash, gone. Similar thing when it comes to an airplane, right? If a window breaks in an airplane, there would be major implications for everybody on board. Meaning that it's the contained air within these things that's kind of responsible for saving the lives of others. This is Aquarius. Always thinking about others. It's the fixed quality of air that drives Aquarians to make their friendships permanent. They take their friendships seriously. And this is also why they can struggle with friendships as well, because of the very same reason that they take their friendships so seriously. And when it comes to their mind, when it comes to their ideas, they are progressive as they are aimed at vitalizing the social consciousness of many. They are all about encouraging others to become more aware, not just of themselves, but of the world around them. And they're ruled by Uranus, the planet all about awakening. It's the fixed nature of air, which provides Aquarius with the focus and patience needed to help such progressive ideas get off the ground. Much like an aeroplane, right? Overall guys, it is the fixed signs that are the ones who have the ability to follow things through and bring things to completion. They are loyal, they are consistent, and due to their strong determination, they can be rather inflexible. Which is sort of why the mutable quality which follows the fixed quality is kind of a big deal. Even though the fixed signs, they may have difficulty making changes in their lives and they may take longer to make decisions, it's the fixed quality that helps us remain committed to the path once the decision has been made. 
I mean, if not for Taurus's ability to persist with practical applications when it comes to resources, why would we set food on the table? How would we have that warm bubble bath that feels so damn relaxing? If not for Leo's ability to persist action, how would we be able to complete a wonderful piece of art which just expresses who we are in spite of opposition or criticism? If not for Scorpio's ability to remain intensely emotional and intimate, how would we be brought to the understanding that in fact, we have the power to choose how we feel? <laughs> And if not for the Aquarian's ability to persist communication and human interaction, how in the world would humanity ever be able to evolve past any limiting beliefs that they have? Ultimately guys, the fixed signs are solid and stable and even though they do take a little while to decide on a new direction, once they do, there is certainly no changing their mind. So if you're looking to get a task or project completed, Look no further than the fixed signs. They will happily show you how it's done. Okay guys, so that concludes my video on the fixed signs within astrology. Naturally then, the last video is going to be the mutable signs. So if you want to keep updated, then go right ahead and click that subscribe button if you have not already. But to all of you who have subscribed, to all of you who have watched this video today, thank you so much for being here. And yeah, I will be back with another video very very soon. Bye!